Transport phenomena in Biosystem Module 4, Shell Momentum Balances, Segment 7, Flow Around the Sphere. With me, Yusuf from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology, Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about the module overview, shell momentum balances, flow of a falling film, flow through a circular tube, flow through an annulus, and flow of two adjacent immiscible fluids. In this segment, we will briefly discuss about creeping flow around the sphere. In the preceding segment, several elementary viscous flow problems have been discussed that deal with rectilinear flows with only one non-vanishing velocity component. Since the flow around the sphere involves two non-vanishing velocity components, Vr and V theta, it cannot be conveniently understood by the techniques explained at the beginning of this module. A brief discussion of flow around the sphere is given in this segment because of the importance of flow around submerged objects. This segment is concerned with creeping flow that is very slow. This type of flow is also referred to as tox flow. We consider here the flow of an incompressible fluid about a solid sphere of radius r and diameter d as shown in the figure. The fluid with density rho and viscosity mu approaches the fixed sphere vertically upward in the z direction with the uniform velocity v theta. For this problem, creeping flow means that the Reynolds number is less than about 0.1. This flow regime is characterized by the absence of a deformation from the sphere. The velocity and pressure distributions for this creeping flow are given by equation 454 until equation 457. For detailed explanation about creeping flow around the sphere, please refer to the textbook page 58 to 61. For the next module, we will discuss about the equation of change for isothermal systems. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.